Welcome back, welcome back to the next episode of our Pokemon Emerald Ironmon National Dex Nuz Lock. In the last episode, we just kept getting absolutely destroyed. It's been, it's been, it's been horrendous. Um, we lost, how many, po we lost it to the Dialga. I need to like recap exactly what happened. We lost three, three Pokemon. You are our Route 103 encounter, you are 102, and you are 101. Oh my gosh. So all we have left is our encounters that we did in the forest in Route 104, right? Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Off the PC. Off the PC. Because uh, our star was Fue Coco, and I believe you were my 104, and you were the Petalburg Woods. Perfect. Okay. Well, not perfect, but at least I know. Um, so I'm going to move forward on from here at level 12. We learn a new move with Sinistro, which is really nice. Um, and we will hopefully, hopefully be able to make it out of here. Um, I don't think I missed any trainers. I know I fought you. I got this item. Um, I think I was working my way through the route to the north of here. I believe there was a double battle that I hadn't done yet. Um, we shall see. But we do have two more encounters available before the gym. So I'm hoping I grabbed this. I did. Fought you. Okay. Just making sure I grabbed everything. It's been a few days since I've recorded. And uh, since I recorded, we finished the subathon. Oh, hi, ZZ. I was going to go pet you, but you jumped up as soon as I went to go pet you. Uh, we finished the subathon. Yep, ZZ. Just get more natural light in here. People want to see my face even more clearly. Um, we fought you. We did not fight you. Okay, so this is that was the trainer who had the Dialga that wrecked me. Ethan. Ethan, I tell you. Finizen, okay. Um, I wonder how Finizen it evolves in this game into Palafin. But I wonder how the Palafin works in this game. Like the Palafin hero form. Probably because it's not gonna have the ability. So Palafin Hero Form is probably just a second Pokemon. It's like separate. Shadow Punch. Yes, please. Let's get rid of Tackle. Definitely get rid of Tackle. Modest nature on this is so good. I didn't realize that's what it was. Um, but yeah, we finished the subathon. It was absolutely insane, man. Uh, we ended up with 44. Day 44 was the day we finished the subathon on. Streamed 500 in like 15 hours. Something crazy like that. We ended up with like over 12, I think 12,000 subs over the course of the whole thing it was absolutely insane one of the best experiences of my life as exhausting as it was it was still one of the best best times ever i loved every second of it seriously um and shout out to everybody who helped make it a reality you know it definitely was not easy you know from your guys' perspective to keep it going that long i know for sure it's it's expensive as hell so uh, i'm gonna disarm his voice because it actually hits both and then I'm going to mud shot. I should probably switch out. I should switch out. Yeah. Yeah, I know you guys, you guys freaking went insane. Went absolutely insane with the donations and everything like that. It was wild. Once in a lifetime experience for sure. Um, everyone's asking like, oh, so when's the next one? <laughs> and uh, not so sure <laughs> when that's going to be. Uh, the original plan that I started last year was I was going to do a subathon in February and then in August because I was like, oh, they go a couple days each time. You know, it'll be a do it every six months or so. It'll be a fun little experience. But this one went for a month and a half. So I'm like, August is only four months away. I don't know if I'm ready for another one that shortly after, uh, you know, doing the subathon really screws up my, you know, YouTube schedule and just life in general it really throws me off any sort of schedule i could have imagined or possibly had i know i'm not great with schedules but it's really tough really tough it's really taxing on me to do as great as it is for me you know viewership wise financially everything it's you know life wise it does you know it's taxing it's the best way to explain it um but i have so much fun doing it so we'll see what happens maybe we'll do something else in august to try to come up with maybe just like a one day event you know i'll do a nice a big 
one day 15 hour stream and I'll have whatever goals and giveaways for it and who knows we'll try to figure something out maybe it'll be a weekend you know so like the donations don't exactly affect the timer but they go towards something you know we'll try we'll try to think of something i'll have to hit up russo he's he's good with those ideas russo came up with a lot of ideas that made the subathon work so well and be so successful so i don't know why i clicked disarm voice that was a mistake um but hopefully we'll be able to come up with some uh come up with something fun come up with something fun um Summering voice is 40, McDrain. This one should do more than half. Yeah, nice. Raise the leaf, perfect. Uh, Beatrice is a really good Pokemon, so I want to make sure I get this leveled up. Uh, we're very close to evolving the uh, into the Crocolore uh, with a Coco, so I might want to level him up too. Embor. Um, this is a perfect time to do it. Let's go, Gustavo. We have water pulse on him. Minimize. So toxic. See, <laughs> that Embor turned into a little tiny Embor. It was kind of hilarious, though, not gonna lie. And we miss. Oh, we missed again. Nice. Okay. There we go. Come on, Gustavo. I knew you had eyes. I knew you had eyes. Um, another thing I know people are going to start asking, uh, Soul Link. I have not talked to Mac yet about like any specific time. Uh, we do plan on doing the Gen 5 Soul Link next. Um, it's just, you know, like I said, Subathon just ended. I'm just getting back into the routine of this. Uh, I want to take it easy for a little bit, do some, I'm probably going to keep streaming pretty consistently. I just want to. You know, not over overwhelm myself as soon as I finish this up with on because like I said, I'm just trying to get get things back in order. You know, I went to the gym this morning, trying to get back to doing that consistently. So I'll probably be a couple weeks, I would say, maybe two, three weeks before some uh next soul link starts. But yeah, you know, obviously I'm checking with Max, see what's going on with him and what's his schedule's looking like over the next couple months and whatnot, because you know. We got a lot going on, you gotta get two people's schedules lined up to be able to record and whatnot, so Definitely gotta, definitely gotta situate it all. But. All right, we get an encounter here, which I should have done first before doing this battle, but it's okay. Let me pull up the comments. Okay. Ingrain. Oh, that's annoying. Well, that's annoying. Got any other moves, buddy? Wing attack. It's gonna tickle. Okay. Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to remember that I can like play this game a little more normally. You know, can buy healing and whatnot. Not that I have really money right now, but I gotta remember that I can actually do all that kind of stuff. Alright, let's get the encounter. We need the encounter really bad, so. A Berserker. I like that. I like that. Berserkers are really good Pokemon. Uh, the TM from the Girl After the Woods. That's a good point. I forgot about that. Um, <laughs> Chandelier has to have some Ring Grace. Dude, that's, that Chandelier was driving me nuts. It was driving me nuts. Uh, I'm going to name it Toaster. Because we constantly have arguments about the level of toast, toastiness of bread in our Discord. And I think that's a good name to get on the team. Um, I do want to go back and get that TM uh, before I forget. Let me check your ability. Magma armor prevents freezing. No big deal. Metal claw, icy wind, false white moonlight. Nice. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, let's go get that TM. <sighs> um... Let's see. Okay. Oh, I need to text my sister before I forget to. Uh, did I fight that fisherman? Did I come back and fight him? I did. I did, I did, I did. Did I grab these items from you? I did not. Did I get this item? Did I get the items above? 
I did. Okay. All right, so TM from you. Try attack. Ooh. Try attack's really nice. Glad I got that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to remember I can use TMs, so I'm gonna have to make sure I grab them all. Uh, let me heal up while I'm here. And you know what? Let me call my sister real quick before I forget. So you're back. Okay. Also, sorry. Need to do something real quick. Um. So, filled up. Let's go up here. We got our encounter on the Route 105. I want to say it is. Did I do it in order? 116. Not in order. Okay. Um. I think 105 is one to the north. Um. So we got a couple trainers over here. We're gonna fight, and then we get an encounter in the cave, and then we do the gym. Um, with the luck that I've been having, I don't know if we'll make it to the gym today. <laughs> um, the luck has been kind of, kind of terrible, to say the least. Um, so we'll see what happens. I think I'm going to, oh, perfect lead, nice. This finish has been so nice. So nice. Having Mega Drain on is amazing. Um, I do want to level up the Fue Coco though, and get that evolved, and then I want to grind up the Berserker. I think that's the play. Level 16 on you. What do you got? Slowbro Galar. I do have Shadow Punch for this. Let's see how much it does. Not gonna do much, I'm pretty weak. Get a lot. Poison Fang. No poison. Uh, I'm tempted to. I want to make a play. I'm going to go on a toaster. This could be stupid. This could be a very stupid play. There's still poison bag. Okay. We do not take sand chip. And we have. I see. We land it. Should kill. I think this is like 3 HP. Nice. Perfect. That'll get toaster some good experience. Nice. I know a special attack's not great, but. It's like, it's only like 2 HP, it should be okay, right? There goes Breezy risking the biscuit again for no reason. All right, Gustavo. I want to get you evolved. I want to get you evolved. Uh, 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 Craniados. Uh, uh, this is a little scary. Uh, but I'm going to Water Pulse. You're really frail. Okay, I was like, I'm hoping this will just KO straight up. Oh, that's your only Pokemon. Okay. Okay. Well, I can kill wild Pokemon, so I can just KO this Pokemon right here. And level up. That'll be the play. Magic Coat. Oh my god, Mirror Coat has created so many horrible memories of this game. <laughs> oh god, you're fast. Okay, good. You are fast. Much faster than me. But we get the evolution off right now. I uh, will get a new ability on our guy. And we'll see. Let's see what happens. I know I'm not doing card arts this time, but I feel like this tracker that's on the bottom that comes with this game is a new way to kind of see the information of the game. I want to do a playthrough with it. Let me know how you guys feel about it. Um, if you think it's been helpful to see. You know, it's cool seeing the typing of the Pokemon I'm going against or the typing of the Pokemon I'm using and getting refreshers on what their abilities are. Like this has airlock, seeing its stat spread, its moveset. You know, I'm hoping that'll kind of be a good set of information to get from the Pokemon. So um, I think with all the randomization, it definitely helps as well. You know, to show you know, what my movesets are, what my abilities are. You know, just hopefully, hopefully be a good experience. I think it's going to be nice. This is four times effective, so I'm hoping it'll do at least 50%. Alphaton is very bulky. Freeze the leaf, we should eat that up. I did a lot of the Metal Claw. Oh, I did nothing. Not because my uh, higher attack stat and a stab. I don't know, I would have done a little bit more than that. Appleton's such a bulky Pokemon, though. Ooh, you know what I should be doing? I should be wearing my Gamer Advantage glasses. I feel like I can immediately... I don't know if it's just like... I don't know what it is, but... 
code HGV bruising. Um, I feel like I immediately can like notice the difference now, like when I don't wear them. I don't know, maybe it's maybe it's in my head, but I feel like I notice. I feel like I can tell like my eyes like immediately start feeling strained. I don't know. I, don't know, I feel like the glasses. I'm honestly, I was not a believer in blue light glasses by any means. I've been streaming for seven years, six years, or something like that. I think seven. And I never, as soon as I heard about it, I was like, nah, I'm good. Probably not worth it. Oh God, that hurts. Um, but honestly, now that I've started using them, especially during the subathon, I was streaming so many hours. This, I feel like they made a huge difference. So I am a believer. I honestly forgot I had Volt Absorb, not gonna lie. I was just switching into Kuzo Grass. I guess it works out. It works out. Toast are level 11. Perfect. And you got a Raichu. Okay. Got more Mega Drains. Crap mm -mm -mm. Hammer. Right, cool. Um, one more trainer, and then we get our last encounter. Um, what would I like right now for my team? We got a water type because we have fire and grass. So a water type would kind of do the fire, water, grass combo. Which is always a good core for a team. Having a steel type is always nice. Um, yeah, see what we get. We will see. Definitely need to switch out on this. Um, I go to Bubba. I'm just going to go to Stavo. I should probably grind a Bubba a little bit before the next gym. Oh, you were one meal. Okay. Um, speed boost skill. Let's try going Bubba this time. Let's see what happens. Mega Drain. Okay, we resist. Hopefully it doesn't do too much. Okay, and we have Ember. Our physical attack is so much better, though. I think Peck is the play. Bullet Seed. Special attack is so bad in comparison. Mm. See how much it does. Big damage. Okay. This is level 35 evolution for Darmanitan. Um, like I said, this will probably be... Because I have the, Scare the Skeledurge on my team, this will probably be something that I bench Flame Wheel for November. This will probably be something that I do bench. But until then, I gotta level it up and try to make it useful. Top of any. Oh boy. Go to Beatrice. Ice Ball. Oh boy. That does a lot. But with Mega Drain, we should be fine. Oh, yeah. Whew. Wow. My Beatrice is so good. Modest Nature is so great, too. And Volt Absorb. Like I said, this is already a switch in for electric moves. So having Volt Absorb is just, uh, just the icing on the cake, honestly. Super Potion. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, if you guys don't, if you guys haven't seen much with this uh, tracker already, um, underneath it shows Berserker, it shows my HP, it shows my ability, all these things. Um, next to the level, like this word here is level eight, there's nothing next to it. But if you're leading, or if you have a Pokemon that evolves, it'll show the evolution level, like the Wingle, it evolves at level 25. And then also near the move set, it says moves one out of nine, and then ten in parentheses. That means it learns a move at level ten. Berserker, the level 12's in uh, yellow because that's my next level up. So it's kind of like a little hint, like, hey, you learn to move at the next level. So, a little bit of information on it. Pretty cool. Um, I feel like I should be able to just KO this real quick with a Metal Claw. A little bit of grinding on the way back wouldn't be a bad idea. A couple Snovers wouldn't hurt. Bubble Beam. Um, I'll give her a False Swipe. False Swipes. Just not useful ever. A special text, not good, but Bubble Beam's a good move, so kind of works. 
kind of works. Good coverage. Okay, especially because I'm not good against fire types. Okay, so this is the team for right now. Uh, we got... What are we doing on time? Oh, it's kind of like a weird time. I guess I could try to... Try to run through the gym. Try to run through the gym a little bit. Let's see. I think we got time. I think it was about... Probably about 20 minutes in right now. I don't want to wrap up just yet. All right. Let's lead with Berserker. And... Actually, actually, actually... I didn't do my encounter in the cave. I can't, that whole time I was walking back, you guys were just yelling at me to do that encounter, I bet. It was wordier too, wasn't it? That was such a good Pokemon. <laughs> I'm not used to doing a regular Nuzlocke again, guys. I'm sorry. So stupid. Oh, I was so worried about explaining the tracker to you guys and like giving you guys information and like, hey, look how this works and how this works. It's so cool. Oh. Oh, man. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. The word here is not even that good of a Pokemon. <sighs> Can't believe I did that. Can't believe I did that. <laughs> oh, I'm the worst. I'm the worst. Why do you guys watch me? I'm so bad at Pokemon. I'm so bad at this game. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Alright, Toaster. Need you to start carrying. Uh, I'm gonna go for the Icy Wind. I was gonna say, because you might be faster than me. You're a pretty fast boy. That did a lot of damage. Um, don't necessarily want to switch in. Just come on. Oh, good thing I didn't switch. I don't necessarily want to switch in my uh, Sinistra on this. 33 to 22. Snatch. Oh, he almost stole my Moonlight if I went for it again. That's funny. Nice. There we go. I can go to the PC and heal in between battles. In the, in the Iron Mon challenge, once you enter the gym, you have to battle every single trainer without leaving the gym and healing. And you can't use potions outside of battle. So, like, right now, I couldn't just use a potion and get the full and go into the next battle. I have to start the next battle and, like, on turn one or whatever, I have to just use a potion. So, I have to take a hit every single time I use an item. Can't believe we actually ended up beating that game. <sighs> Insanity. One of the things I'm probably going to work on today is uh, doing some, like, voiceover work for it, so... Um, lots of work to do. I'm debating on if I'm going to stream today. Uh, obviously, I just streamed 44 days straight. Yes, Sunday was my first day off. This is Monday morning. I'm recording this premature before it goes up. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do a stream tonight. I kind of want to. Um, I'm going to order all the shirts for people who got giveaways, which it's like almost 20 people I think I'm doing giveaways for. I literally said, I was like, I'm not going to do too many giveaways this time. I was like, but I was like, you know, if we have like a lot of people who do donate like a lot of money. And, you know, I'm going to do more giveaways than I plan, but I still don't want to do too many. I was like, I'll probably do like five, maybe, maybe seven or eight at most. I'm doing like 19 or something like that. Get the exact number. I got to make sure I get people's sizes for the shirts and whatnot that I'm doing. Needle arm. Oof. Sort of spike. Needle arm is a stronger grass move. Mega Drain obviously gives recovery, which is important, but damage is important. Um, I'm just going to Mega Drain here. Should KO. Get me back to full, and I can just go right into the gym leader battle. Mm -mm -mm. Alright. Um, yeah, 
Yeah, let's lead with Berserker. Berserker's slower than I remember. I thought he was faster than this. I thought he was a little faster, but um, still not too bad. You have a full team of six. I did not remember this correctly. Um, I'm going to Icy Wind. Your physical defense is extremely good, and you went for a defense curl. So I'm going to go for the Icy Wind. You have whatever ability, clear body. I don't know if clear body's in this game. Maybe white smoke? Maybe white smoke. But I am going to keep Icy Winning. How are you? Oh. How are you outspeeding me? You're an idiot. What did I just said? You have white smoke. I haven't had coffee yet today. We're in shambles. Okay. Galarian Moltres. I'm going to Icy Wind again. Oh boy. That did 24 damage. That one did 25. Um, I think I lost. I need a freeze. I did not realize how high level these were going to be. I need a freeze. Gustavo, please. Please. Um, I have a super potion, right? Fresh water. That damage roll is crazy. Um... Revenge would be 120. Our snow would be. Yeah. I don't know what would be. I think your special defense is really good, though, so maybe I'll go for the revenge. See how much this does. Alright, and then I super potion. Play again. It's power snow. It's flinch. This is a damage roll. He gets the damage roll again in his favor. Um, what do I have for moves on you? Disarming voice. Damage roll went in his favor every time it needed to, which is not great. This is obviously going to hurt. No flinch. Okay, Beatrice is going to hard carry. I was going to say, if we lose this right here, I'll just restart. I'll just pick my own star on the next one and just rerun it. I knew this was going to be a difficult, difficult battle. So, you know, it wasn't super. I think Beatrice is going to be able to carry, though. I think Beatrice will be able to carry. I didn't even think I was going to have this many Pokemon in this battle, to be completely honest. Okay, I'm going to Shadow Punch. You have color change, so I'm not worried about any static or anything like that. Sun is up. The Alolan Rattata. Gonna need alarm. Strongest thing I can do. Plus the flinch chance. Um, iron treads. I am going to need alarm again. Works the best thing I can do. Metal sound. Oh, you are fast. Fast, fast Pokemon. You lower my speed up. I do not like that. Your physical attack. Oh no, you actually are mixed. I think. I think you can do both. Potion, that's perfect. Waste a turn. And a Mega Drain here. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Minus two. Oh, okay, that didn't hurt as bad as I thought. Oh, I don't know what your special attack is exactly. I know people run like a mixed set on that, like Volt Switch and like a uh, Steel Beam. What's your last mon? Electa Buzz. We do have Volt Absorb. Magnitude 5. 34 to 31. Okay, I'm gonna Mega Drain. Get that Orange Berry. Should be able to recover a little bit. It's not gonna do as much as Needle Arm, obviously, but it should it put it into range of another letter. Oh, another Needle Arm. Oh, yeah, perfect. We're good. Okay, alright, I guess, uh. <laughs> I guess Darumaka is going to be hanging on the team for a little bit longer. <laughs> this is going so badly. This is my first 
regular Nuzlocke I've done in like two months. I am on the struggle bus. Oh, my Lanta. At least we beat, we get to TM for Rage the Leaf. Okay, we don't really need that, but at least we get some encounters like right away. We, uh, <laughs> we get uh, the fishing rod. So I could come back here and get Route 105 encounter. Um, we get two, three. We have four encounters actually in the next city. Because uh, we get the fishing rod and you have access to Duford Town, the route to the right, if you go all the way, the route to the north, and then the cave there. So you get four encounters there. The one thing about this game, it's, it's very forgiving when it comes to the amount of encounters you get. So we'll be doing a bunch in the next episode. Thank you guys for coming through. Leave some nicknames because I will be needing them. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.